hi guys and welcome to the vlog i have to be honest i have no idea what vlogmas day it is anymore i think i've just completely lost track but for today's video i will be sitting down with you and sharing my top 10 purchases of 2020. honestly this was a very tough thing to do i had such a hard time picking just 10 items not only that but then i had to figure out which one was the best and which one was you know in last place <laughs> so i hope you guys really enjoy this and maybe you'll find some good products to maybe um pick up for yourself so let's get started i have all the items here beside me there are some that i unfortunately will not be able to show you because they are not with me at the moment um but don't worry i have loads of pictures to show you instead all right before i get started i do want to say that everything that i mention will be in the description box so long that it's still available um but everything that i chat about will be linked in the description box okay item number 10 in this list is my white lacoste sneakers these are the straight set bl1 sneakers and these ones in particular have the white um alligator as opposed to the green alligator i cannot tell you how much i have worn these shoes if you know i live in the city i do a ton of walking i don't really get in a car ever so having a comfy pair of sneakers is essential and these have gotten me through everything um something that really sold me about these was the white alligator i am not one for logos i could be wearing the most expensive handbag in the world and i really don't care if people know where it's from that's that's not who i am i don't really care for logos and the fact that these are white and are super understated is perfect so these are number 10 on the list because I have gotten an insane amount of wear out of these. I'm sorry about this next item, but it had to go on the list. So <laughs> item number nine is my Aritzia Plaza coat. And I'm sorry, it is sold out currently, but this coat is so gorgeous. It is not only a full length coat, which for someone who is 5'3", is, it's, it's a little bit harder to find longer coats, but this is not a traditional camel coat. I think a lot of people have camel coats. A lot of people have black coats. But the fact that this has a military style, it's got such prominent lapels, it's double breasted, it's got detailing on the arms and in the back. I just think this coat is so versatile. It's such a statement coat, yet you can easily dress it up or dress it down. I have just found myself reaching for this coat over and over again. And I just think it was one of the best decisions I made. All right, item number eight. I think this is item number eight, <laughs> is my Rare Beauty Highlight in Mesmerize. I am one who loves to do my makeup natural. I don't like to hide my imperfections. I, I like to just emphasize what I personally like about my face. <laughs> and this highlight was such a beautiful discovery. I have always shied away from highlighters because I think they make me look too overdone. And this one just gives you the most youthful glow. You can't even tell you're wearing highlight. It just looks like you're just glowy from within of course um but this is a makeup item that i reach for every single day and i look forward to applying it every single day so this was such a wonderful discovery for me okay and item number seven on this list is my coach handbag yes i know we've seen it about five thousand times <laughs> but this is my tabby top handle 20 in black and i cannot tell you how much wear i have gotten out of this bag it is so versatile it goes with anything whether you're wearing lululemon leggings or whether you're wearing the dressiest dress it goes and the fact that you can wear a crossbody as well as as a top handle it just makes it that much more versatile and yes it's the smaller size but it fits quite a lot in here so for me it just checked off all the boxes and it was just such an amazing purchase all right and item number six is my independent tanning kit by lydia millen i know i've mentioned this before but this for me is just something that i have used every single day and all aspects of the bag so when you buy this bag you will get the bag it is actually waterproof it's got a waterproof lining which if you use self tanners you know that the lids can sometimes get a little bit messy um, so this is just a nice kind of peace of mind that you're not <laughs> gonna get self tanner everywhere I am also a person that um, I have like five tanning bottles just at once not sure why and the fact that I can keep them all in one place is is nice especially because I live in a small apartment like I don't have 
tons of storage. So this is just really easy. I grab it out of my closet, I bring it into the bathroom with me and I have everything that I could possibly need in this bag. So it's really nice in that sense. Aside from the bag, the bag actually comes with four things. So it's gonna come with your back exfoliator, which it looks like this, your exfoliating mitt, your tanning mitt, and then your back tanner. Um, and it just looks like this. Um, yes, you can technically buy these things elsewhere for probably a cheaper price, um, but I've been tanning for quite some time now and the quality of these, for me, it just doesn't compare to other things. I know I used to use the t exfoliating mitts from, um, I think like Shoppers and Zares and the grocery store and they were nice, but because they always came in really bright colors like pink and blue and yellow, they always ended up looking really gross because while well, you're scrubbing your body, you're rubbing off your tan, it's not gonna look so good. So the fact that this is black is really nice. Um, it, just, it just looks nicer. <laughs> so that is what came in the kit and I use it every single day. The other item I kinda wanted to add onto this purchase is the Saint Tropez Express Bronzing Gel. This is the tan that I just keep going back to. So this tan um, is a gel, so it's not your typical mousse. Um, but the nice thing about this is that the guide color is very natural, meaning I put this on in the morning and I get dressed and I just go on about my day. I don't look like a crazy person, I just look very bronze. The nice thing about this is that it develops in three hours. So whenever I am in a rush, this is my go-to because I don't have to wait eight hours for it to develop. And it just is such a natural looking tan. Um, if you're looking for a self tanner to kind of get started with, I highly recommend this one, especially because you can actually choose how dark you want it to get. So if you only want a nice light tan, leave it on for an hour and then wash it off. I leave it on for the whole day <laughs> and then wash it off at night. Um, but this is just something I constantly use over and over again. I have like four bottles of this and it's just the best. So it's one of the best purchases I've made this year. Um, I tried it at first this summer and I just, I can't use anything else. <laughs> All right, and item number five, I unfortunately don't have with me at the moment, but I will put up loads of pictures on the screen for you to see. But item number five are my Castagne wedges. So these are my Espadrille wedges. And again, like my sneakers, like all of these items, I have gotten so much wear out of them. And something that I just love about these is that the quality is phenomenal. They are a wedge, but they're comfortable. Like if I can walk around the city in my Espadrille wedges, they're doing something right. <laughs> so for me, these have been such a beautiful purchase, such an amazing purchase. Not only do I get complimented on them, they're comfortable, they're classy, they're beautiful. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. I have zero regrets about these espadrilles. In fact, I love them so much that I also bought them in black. So I do have two colors of these espadrille wedges. And again, they are just one of my all time favorite purchases. All right, I'm very sorry about the next item, but it is my coach boots. I, you know what, little story time here. I almost didn't get these boots. Um, I essentially was filming a video. I think it was a fall video. I'm not sure what I was filming. And I needed black boots. I didn't own black boots up until these. And I was scrambling, I was on the phone with my mom. I was like, mom, I, I need to find boots. Like I have to find boots today. Like. I was walking around Yorkville and if you know, if you live in Toronto or even on the outskirts of Toronto, Yorkville is where all the expensive stores are. <laughs> and I obviously was not about to spend $2,000 on a pair of like Louboutin boots. And I, the last place I thought of was Coach. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. If it doesn't work, well then I'm screwed. I'm gonna have to figure something else out. And when I walked in, these were there, they were on sale. These were the last pair in my size. And when I put them on, it wasn't love at first sight. I was like, no, I, I just, there was something about them that I didn't like. And the lady was like, no, like, trust me. They're beautiful. They look beautiful on you. Um, they're the last pair. They're on sale. Like, it's just, it's meant to be. And she was so amazing. And it was thanks to her that I have these. And I cannot tell you how much wear I have gotten out of these. Well, I think it's evident how much wear I've gotten out of these. <laughs> but again, such an amazing purchase. And with the quality of these, I know I will be wearing them for years and years to come. Item number three, and I know so many of you are gonna be like, that is the most dysfunctional bag in the world, but I'm here to tell you it's not. This is my Cult Gaia Arc bag, and 
I cannot believe how much wear I got out of this bag. When I first was shopping for it, I was so unsure because there were so many things about this bag that scream dysfunctional. First of all, the slits, you would think that you're gonna be able to see all your stuff inside and you can't. It must just be the way that they are laid out. It's really hard to actually see what's inside the bag. But again, if you have tampons in there or anything they just don't want people to see, don't worry about it. You can't see through it as much as you think. Next, I was worried about things falling out. For me, it was really simple. I just ensured that anything that was in this bag was bigger than these slits. And let me tell you, that's not hard to do. <laughs> and the last thing for this bag is I thought it was gonna be so inconvenient because when I first got it, I was like, oh my God, it doesn't, it only opens this much, but no, it opens entirely. Super easy access to inside the bag. And again, it's just such a statement piece. I cannot tell you how many comments I got on this bag. Everywhere I went, someone had something to say about this bag and it was just one of the best purchases of the year. Without a doubt, I just, I love this bag with my entire heart and I am really excited to be able to wear it again next summer. Okay, item number two. And this is probably the item that I just, I didn't even have to think twice about, but this is I know you know, I know you know. This is the Ren Clean Skincare Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. It's so good. Like all you ladies have been like, you're glowing, your skin looks perfect. And I'm here like, <laughs> it's this guy. I cannot tell you how much of an impact this has had on my skin. There are a lot of products that you use and you're like, mm, I'm not really seeing a difference immediately my skin was glowier it was more moisturized i started seeing less texture on my skin less redness on my skin and now i just don't know what i would do without this product and honestly if you're looking for something to really just change up your skincare go for this it has been probably one of the best purchases of 2020 and it almost got first place it almost got first place on this list, but it gave it second place. And honestly, one of my favorite items of 2020. All right, item number one. Some of you may not know, but I started all of this YouTube, Instagram, sort of at the beginning of quarantine. So April, April-ish YouTube, August, um, but this jacket started it all for me. When I started doing all of this, I didn't have much. I didn't have a lot of disposable income. I wasn't working because we were all shut down. We were quarantined. And this blazer was the last purchase I made before we went into lockdown. And it has gotten me, ooh, I'm getting emotional. It has gotten me, hold on. Sorry about that, I got a little emotional there. This jacket really was the thing that started everything for me. There was one thing that I knew about myself when I started all of this is I loved, I loved feeling beautiful and powerful. And I was so passionate about other women feeling that same way. I wanted women to feel the best about themselves regardless of what society tells you. And for me, blazers always made me feel like my best self. So item number one is my Aritzia Club double breasted blazer. And if you take a scroll through my Instagram and you go back to the beginning of quarantine, you will see this blazer over and over and over again. And not only is it the perfect silhouette, it is the most beautiful material. It's kind of a textured material. It's got shoulder pads. So really this is the blazer that not only can you dress down, but you can wear to the office. You can wear with a nice dress underneath and heels. It is the most versatile piece. Um, I will put a picture up here. That way you can kind of get a sense of what it looks like on. But for me, this blazer just got me through this year. It's what started it all. I didn't have to buy anything expensive or 5,000 items to get where I am today. And this blazer just, it's what started it all. And I got so much use out of it. I still do, it's my favorite blazer. In fact, I think I'm getting to the point where I might need to get a second one because this one is just completely just worn. I have worn it so much. So item number one is this blazer. If you are someone who's never really worn blazers, you don't know where to start, 
give this blazer a try it's such a classic silhouette and yeah it's just item number one it got me through quarantine I got 5,000 outfits out of it to post on Instagram and to share with you how you can style one blazer 5,000 in one way. So yeah, that's item number one. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And to be honest, there were so many other items that I could have put in here. My Missouri pearls almost made it into this video. My Nord Green rose gold watch almost made it into this video. Holland Cooper knitted sweater. My Pauline burgundy purse. Um, they were all amazing purchases, um, but those were the 10 that I thought were just the absolute best and I don't regret purchasing. I would repurchase all of these. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little spiel about my favorite purchases of 2020. Leave down below what your favorite purchases were and why, because I know that's always interesting. Like, okay, what was your favorite purchase? Oh, a coffee maker, but why? <laughs> so leave it all down below. I would absolutely love to know what your favorite purchases were of 2020. Oh, I can't believe I got so emotional. I just think, you know, it's so important that, you know, I have so many of you telling me don't change. And you know what? I am really fortunate to have been raised by two amazing parents that have always taught me to never forget where you came from and I hope to never ever lose that in me because I think it is so important to always acknowledge where you started, where you are, what you've done to get there, who's been with you along the way. And you know, I think it's so important to acknowledge all of that. And I think making this video really was just a nice reminder that a lot has changed in a very short amount of time. And I'm just really, really grateful, not only for the people who have supported me for all the hours of sleep that I've lost to make this happen, but also all of you. And you know what? I never really understood when other content creators would say thank you to the audience. You know, I was their audience. I never understood what that meant until I was in their spot. And to be able to talk to you ladies every day, you really inspire me and you make what I do every single day so worth it so worth it and so amazing it is just inspiring to see how many of you are just absolute powerhouses of women and you know what if this is a reminder to you then you are amazing and we are all amazing regardless of what we wear what our hair looks like what our face looks like what makeup we use or don't use there's just so much craziness in this world that tells women what to do, what not to do, who to raise, um, how many kids to have. There's just so much nonsense. And you know what? Sometimes we just have to take a step back and do whatever the heck makes us happy. Just do it. Just go ahead and do what makes you happy. And yeah, that's why I started this. And you know what? It's about time you guys knew why I started all of this. Us women are such amazing beings and I think throughout history it's just that's not always been how we felt and it's about time we started putting ourselves in the best position that we can put ourselves in. So that's my little motto, <laughs> my little um, pep talk for the day and you know what it's such a pleasure to have you guys get to know me better every day. I know there are so many of people that you know I went to high school with that I went to elementary school with who are probably seeing a very different person right now and you know what I'm not any different I have not changed in a very long time I have always been a very consistent person I am very quiet in person and but I haven't changed I have always been me and I have always been this way and it's just been so nice to be able to let you guys get to know me. I think I have always been such a reserved person when I maybe didn't have to and it had nothing to do with insecurity. I would just, I didn't care being validated by other people. I never felt the need to have other people validate me by whether I fit in, whether I had a ton of friends, whether, you know, I was the lead in something that just was never how I functioned. And so, yeah, I've just always been me wholeheartedly and I will continue doing so because I think we all need to do so. We all just need to be 
ourselves whatever that may be or however that may look like so yeah am i gonna keep ranting about this no i need to stop it <laughs> but anyways i am gonna clean up all of the mess that i just made i feel like i say this after every like haul do i yeah i think i do <laughs> but i'm gonna clean up everything that i just pulled out to make this video and i'm gonna sit down and edit this and i'm probably gonna get emotional again because you know you know what i'm just an emotional being i cry all the time but anyways, <laughs> enough of me chatting. I am going to clean up. I'm going to start editing this video because I really want to put this together for you and I'm really excited. And then later on today, I I don't even know what I'm going to do today. We'll see. We'll see. We'll take a minute by minute. But yeah, let's go. right now i'm about to go down and go for a quick walk and just pick up a coffee it is very gloomy today so i got my coziest holland cooper sweater i'm telling you you guys always ask me about this sweater and i know i know like i understand how scary it can be to like order things online when you just don't know what the duties are going to be what the quality is going to be but if there is anything that i would recommend spending your money on it's holland cooper and just their sweaters i honestly there are very few brands that i'm just like blown away with and um this brand is just it continues to impress me and yeah hopefully in the new year i can pick up more pieces for myself but that's what i'm wearing today i'm also just wearing um my zara trousers i'll show you these trousers i am actually amazed that they're still available on the website and i cannot believe how much wear i've gotten out of these trousers these are the trousers and I know you guys have seen them time and time again. They're high-waisted. I did have to get these hemmed um, for my height, but nevertheless, they are the most perfect pair of trousers. And I think I'm going to end up getting myself either a black pair or a more like caramel color because I just, I get so much wear out of these trousers. So this is what I'm wearing today. Just very comfy, very slouchy, um, but yeah. So I thought we would sit down and have a bit of a chat. I, you know, as the year is coming to a close, I cannot tell you how much my life has changed in the past few months, honestly, ever since like COVID. Um, this, you know, content creating has just changed my entire outlook on life. And you know what? It's amazing that I've, I'm really happy that I've been able to kind of find a passion of mine but it's also meant I've had to give up certain things. And one of those is books. I, obviously being a history and art history major, reading and learning has always been something that I, I love. I have, ever since I can remember, I loved learning. Like I loved learning new things and just reading. I love reading. <laughs> and something that unfortunately had to happen when I, you know, got into content creating. I just, I had so many responsibilities that one of the things I had to give up was reading. I just, I no longer had time to open up a book and read you know at nights i would just i would be so exhausted that i couldn't even get through two sentences or i would be falling asleep and it wasn't until i tried audible that i was just it all changed for me so i do want to say that and this part of the video is actually sponsored by audible which is really exciting because i have been using audible for quite some time now and i know you guys have seen it i've been talking about it non-stop in previous vlogs but it has just been something that has really, really changed the way I listen to audiobooks. If you don't know, Audible is actually the leading provider in spoken word. Audible has just launched their Plus catalog, which is amazing because not only are you able to get access to audiobooks and podcasts, but you'll also get access to guided meditation, guided fitness programs, which I feel like right now is more relevant than ever because all of us are at home and it really makes sense to have those kind of guided programs. 
sometimes for whatever it is that you may be up to. <laughs> the way I use Audible is I have just downloaded the free app in the App Store and you can download all your titles on there. And my favorite thing is I can actually listen to all of my audiobooks and all of my titles while I'm offline. So being someone who takes transit a ton and I'm always on the subway where there is no service, being able to continue listening to my audiobooks is really, really nice. And as well, because all of your audiobooks will be saved across devices, you will never lose your page. How nice is that? You know those moments when we like lose your chapter because you your bookmark fell out yeah that'll never happen <laughs> so that is those are two things that i just absolutely love about audible i have recently started listening to the diary of anne frank and i cannot tell you how important this listen is to me when i was really young i obviously history and art history is my thing um that's what i studied and i cannot tell you how many years i did not pick up the diary of Anne Frank because I just I didn't think I had the time I really wanted to invest you know my time into it and to be able to really appreciate her words and I never picked it up I never picked up the diary Anne Frank because I just never thought that I was in the right moment a few weeks ago I decided to just get the audiobook and to read her words is one thing but to listen to someone read her words out loud I cannot tell you how powerful that is. You know, obviously her words are really amazing, but to listen to someone read them out loud, I just, every morning I'm like, wow. That's what I've been listening to recently. I also have a uh, business book on the go at the same time because I like to listen to like calmer reads in the morning and then something that makes me think a little bit more in like afternoon evening if you are interested in trying audible they do have a 30-day free trial which is super exciting because this is actually how i got into audible i signed up i was ready to get my membership going i tried the 30-day free trial and after the 30 days i was like but i have another book ready to listen to and i have just kept paying for my membership ever since then and another thing i love about audible is that every month you get a free credit which means that you get to pick essentially a free audiobook which i love i am waiting for my january credits to come through because i have a audiobook that is on my to listen list and um yeah i'm just i'm waiting for january 1st to get that but yeah that is something that is i absolutely love about audible but if you are looking for more information i will leave it on the screen here as well as in the description box so you can text samantha guerrero to 500 500 as well you can go to the link at audible.com slash samantha guerrero to get more information on audible so do check the link out because honestly i think this is something that a lot of you would really really love and i know i've had so many wonderful conversations about the content that we love reading and so many favorite audiobooks and i just think that this is something that so many of you would absolutely love so all the information will be in the description box and do check that out um, but right now i am going to get my day started i have to do loads of editing i have to send things to brands and um i also have to um pick up a makeup item later on which i'm not going to tell you what it is because it's going to be next vlog but i searched high and low for this product like it was sold out everywhere i don't even know why like I, I haven't even heard that many people talk about it but it was sold out everywhere so i was like okay and i finally was able to get my hands on it so i do have to do curbside pickup um later on today which i'm really excited about because that means that in next vlog i will be able to do a sit down video and do my makeup with you with this new product and i'm so excited because i honestly feel like it's the most me product I'm just so excited. I think you guys are gonna really love it. Hello, so it is, what time is it? It is 3.20, I am done all my work, and I just kind of touched myself up to go pick up my new beauty product. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the plan. I am just about to, I was actually just about to put hand lotion on, and I thought, you know what, if you're looking for a really good hand lotion, I know this is totally random, but if you're looking for a really good hand lotion, I highly, highly recommend L'Occitane, L'Occitane, however it's pronounced. Um, I use the Hand and Nail Care, um, the almond scented one, and it is so, so good. I highly recommend it, especially if you're someone who like works with your hands and you don't like when you're touching things and your hands are greasy. This hand lotion dries down immediately 
but it actually feels like it's hydrating your hands there's some lotions that like they leave your hands super greasy and you never feel like they actually did anything this one is just highly recommend but I'm gonna put some on that on my hands because I'm actually gonna go out I'm wearing my Holland Cooper sweater to go out and my trousers and I'm just gonna wear my plaza coat and my scarf so I am just kind of gonna wear honestly I feel like this is the outfit I've been wearing a lot recently but I am just gonna wear my plaza coat which I am so sorry that it is sold out by the way I swear it's just yeah it's a beautiful coat um hopefully crossing fingers that it comes back in stock and when it does um i will hopefully be able to let you guys know um but i'm just gonna wear my plaza coat um and then a wool scarf just to keep me nice and warm i don't feel like wearing a hat or ear warmers or anything so sometimes having a scarf that i can just like wrap myself in um is perfect and then mitts and white sneakers because you bet i'm in denial and i will not be letting go of my white sneakers just yet <laughs> um but yeah let me get dressed and then we can go i can't believe how dark it is in here already but this is what i'm wearing as you can see i am cozy and wrapped up <laughs> in my scarf but i've got my zara trousers sneakers i have actually put a black bodysuit underneath my sweater just to add like an extra layer of warmth and yeah something i've also been loving i have been wearing my pauline purse non-stop um, it actually fits so much in there as you can see it's got these buttons and these buttons when you undo them It allows you to open up the purse and so much can fit in there So yeah, I've been really enjoying using my Pauline purse and I just feel like the color is so classy that it adds Just a beautiful touch of color pop of color <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna get going. I'm really excited to pick this product up and you can already tell it's 3 30 and the Sun is leaving how sad is this um but yeah i'm gonna i might stop at a cafe on the way back and just pick up a croissant and a coffee we'll see um but yeah that's kind of the plan so let's go i also decided i'm gonna take transit actually i'm gonna walk and see how i feel and then if it gets too cold i might just take transit but we will see so let's go because then i want to be home for dinner Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm actually got my AirPods in. I'm ready to listen to what day am I? I'm listening to, like I said, the Diary of Anne Frank, and I am. I will tell you what day I'm on. It's so cool. So I am listening to Sunday, January second, 1944, and I'm 31 seconds in, so that two minutes and 22 seconds left of January second, 1944. Isn't that crazy to think that in that very moment, that's what was crossing her mind and that's what she was feeling and thinking and oh, I don't know it just it's so crazy to think I don't know it's just crazy to think about that but anyways I'm gonna put this on because honestly I'm not in the mood for music today I just I I got really into it this morning and I unfortunately like when I get ready in the mornings I like to listen to my audiobooks but obviously when I'm done getting ready I have to put it down and like get to work and this morning I was like really into it I started that, that day and I was like oh, now I have to stop so I'm really excited to be able <laughs> to keep listening to it oh my god I look like I don't even know what it look like right now but you know I'm gonna be warm okay <laughs> but anyways I got everything I need I got my airpod case the camera oh mitts oh wait my mitts are over here I got my mitts. Uh, someone was asking that the black earmuff set and mitt set from Indigo, that they didn't have them and that they didn't look the same. They are the same. These ones are the same, but these are much, much older. As you can see, they're like pilling. Um, it just seems that every year the knit pattern changes a little bit and then the color, they release new colors every year. But Indigo is some of my favorite. It's one of my favorite places to get like mitts and ear warmers. They're also really affordable. But anyways, I've been chatting for so long and I sound out of breath too. Let's go and get this over with. <laughs> Hello, I literally just got back like, I don't even know, like five minutes ago and I immediately changed into some loungewear because I was so cold. It is incredibly cold out today, like unbearably cold. That's why I didn't vlog. Like I couldn't even handle taking my hands out of my mitts because it was that cold. I can even see like my nose is still partially red. Um, but I ended up stopping, and I'm not going to show you what I got. <laughs> but I did end up getting some stuff at the grocery store. I ran out of peppermint tea, and so I picked up some peppermint tea. This Celestial Seasonings is one of my favorite brands. Um, 
Um, and I also picked up, I actually eyed this up last time. This is the Mace, Mason Riviera Probiotic Plant-Based Kefir. And when I was younger, I used to drink kefir. Obviously now like dairy really upsets my stomach. Um, and I know one of you ladies was telling me that like taking probiotics, um, like a, a supplement would be really, really helpful. And I am doing some research into that. So if you have any probiotics, like any brands that you personally like and recommend, leave it in the comment box. But for now, I'm going to try this kefir um, plant-based probiotic. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not huge on coconut-based products. Um, but we'll see. You know what? It can't hurt. So yeah. And then I also picked up some ramen because again, I feel like it was so cold and on the way home I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna stop at the grocery store and get something warm and cozy because yeah, like I just, I almost froze to death. <laughs> but anyways, right now I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I'm watching Dawson's Creek and I'm also gonna give this a try. Actually, let me try it right now. Okay, so. A little bit bitter it definitely tastes like coconut I don't hate it honestly I could probably just sweeten this with a little bit of honey and it would taste really yummy but it's a little bit bitter <laughs> um, I guess it's it's good for you yeah needs a little, little bit of sweetness <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna put all this stuff away disinfect everything and yeah, we'll chat in a bit. Okay, quick update. I just added like a splash of maple syrup and it's so good. It just tastes like drinkable yogurt. Um, yeah, I actually, I really like that. I'm glad I tried that. I was gonna do honey and then I was like, mm, I'll try maple syrup and much, much better. Hello, it is a new day. Um, I totally did not end up finishing the vlog last night. I literally just like ended up making ramen because again, I was like super cold. And yeah, I just got into bed. We watched a movie. So we, I was really excited because when I was growing up, Mulan was one of my favorite movies. And obviously they just came out with the like live action Mulan. And I know I researched and I know why they made the changes that they made. But like, you know, they didn't make changes to Beauty and the Beast. They didn't make changes to Cinderella. Why did they make changes to Mulan? I understand that a lot of the reasons were, you know, political and etc. But I don't know, it just, I don't know, like, it was just really sad. Like I wanted to hear the music and I don't know. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought because maybe it's maybe it's just me, but we ended up watching about 10 minutes of okay, maybe more like 30 minutes of the new one and I was just like we ended up switching and watching the old one and it was so funny. It was such a great movie. I had actually forgotten how good Mulan is. It was such a wonderful movie. So anyways, right now it is about 2 o'clock, 2:30. Um, and I just wanted to end the vlog here. I know I didn't say goodnight last night, um, but yeah, that's kind of what I did last night. But I just wanted to say goodbye to you guys and that I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye. Mwah.